on guys um i got a bunch of tires in my garage right now and my garage is a mess but so is your life so i'm not going to make this video that long just because measuring tires is pretty much straightforward when you have this tool i'm not going to use a penny or a coin like some people do in their videos the proper way to measure uh, actual tires is to use this this is called a tire tread depth gauge they're fairly cheap you can really buy this at any parts store or tool store or whatever i'll leave a, a link in the description where i got this one basically what you guys need to know is that tires are safety devices they're, they're used for safety they help with your braking even your acceleration your cornering your traction so measuring tires is very important it's very simple also it's very important uh, I'm gonna demonstrate with a few tires that I have laying around all right so this is the first tire right here I'm gonna show you guys how to measure this and basically with this tool this is all that's gonna happen is this part at the bottom that goes up and down is just gonna go in here which is this is called a groove Right, these are grooves in the tire, so you can put it in this one, this one, this one, this one, whatever. The more measurements you take, the better. But I'm just going to go with this right here, and all you're going to do is push down like that. So now this part of the tool is on the tread. This is the actual tread block, and that's what we're measuring. So the numbers you see up on here, that's what you're looking at now. You're just spinning this, and you're finding the first number that shows up with a line underneath. And in this case, the first number that shows up is a seven and the way this is written out is in a fraction form it's 30 seconds of an inch so in this case it would be seven 30 seconds of an inch that's the measurement of the tread depth on this tire all right so now this is a different tire I'll, I'll measure it on this side this time and I'm just pushing it down like that and then rotating this until I find a number that shows up in the line so in this case so the eight showed up first. So if I look at the seven, the line didn't show up yet. So I look over to the eight. That's the first line I see that showed up under a number. So this is eight, 30 seconds of an inch. Now here's another tire that I have. Now if I wanted to measure this, right? Hold on, I can't, I can't take the measurement here. I want you guys to look at this tire properly. And tell me what you notice. A big giveaway is that it's really, really, really bald and worn down on this side. You see this side of the tire still has tread life that I can measure, but I can't even measure this. I can't measure this anymore. It's, 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 it's smooth, this is bald. This tire right here is a garbage tire. This right here needs to be replaced. The lowest point of the tire right here is nothing. Like you can't measure this. One thing you guys gotta be mindful of is when you're looking at your tires, look at where the lowest tread depth is that's the measurement you want to take that's why i wanted to show you this so before you start measuring your tires give a nice visual inspection and look at where the lowest part of the tire is take multiple measurements if you have to as i already like showed you guys it's pretty simple to do this and then once you got the hang of it you'll be able to measure your tires properly so now that you got your measurements you need to know how to compare them with like the tire let's say this tire right here this was 7 30 seconds of an inch what is that like is that good is that bad the only way for you to find out is you got to know how much this tire tread should be at when it's brand new right when it's brand new some tires are usually around 10 to 12 30 seconds of an inch that's usually what most sedan tires are at other tires like pickup truck tires you know heavy duty tires all that they're gonna be a little bit more they're gonna have more tread they're gonna have deeper tread. They're gonna have maybe 15 to 20, 30 seconds of an inch. It really just depends. I'm gonna go with the example that let's say a brand new tire, in this case, is 10, 30 seconds of an inch. This measured 7, 30 seconds of an inch. So that's around, I'd say 70% tire life left. When you get down to two 30 seconds of an inch, that's when you're basically crossing the legal limit, at least for North America. Two 30 seconds, you've got to change your tires. You shouldn't be on the road with two 30 seconds of an inch of tire life left. When customers get down to around three 30 seconds of an inch, I'll usually recommend, all right, maybe you should change your tires just about now. Uh, four to six 30 seconds of an inch, that's usually the range where your tires are getting low, but you can still keep driving. I say that's around 40 to 60% of your tire life left. So around there, it's okay to keep driving, but you have to be mindful of how much life you actually have left. But 
that's pretty much it the only way for you to really compare is you got to know how much your tire is brand new like how much tire how much tire tread you have on your tire when it's brand new also another thing to know is your tires might have these wear bars in them which are right here these horizontal bars that run across the tire like that if your tire tread ever gets low to the point where it's flush the same level as these wear bars then your tire is done it's, it's no good you need to replace it so at this point I pretty much showed you guys how to use this tool uh, how to measure your tire tread but there's other things you gotta, guys gotta know like tire rotations tire pressures I made a whole video on tire pressures like check that shit that was really important but look at that shit it's in the description below other things that are important wheel alignments and the age of the tire that's another thing that comes into play like you can have a lot of tread left but it might be an old tire. So now you're looking for cracks, now you're looking for soft spots in the tire, like the bead might rip or something. There's several things you wanna take into account, but for the sake of this video, you guys pretty much know at this point how to use a tire tread depth tool and to measure the, tri the tire, uh, de the tread depth of your tires.